I'm Scott Newman from Independent VFX, teaming up with AV3 Software, and in this video, we are gonna take a look at creating a dynamic fire trail using some of the new features in the design interface inside Red Giant Trap Code Particular 3. If you're considering buying or upgrading to Particular 3, head over to AV3 Software and save 5%. AV3 also sell a range of leading VFX and motion graphics plugins and standalone software. When you buy through AV3, you can get all your support and downloads in one place with many products available at a discount. Version 3 of Red Giant Trap Code Particular is a major update with a whole host of new features added. Some of these are the new design interface and the ability to link multiple particle systems to one emitter. We're going to take a brief look at the workflow that was used to create this dynamic fire trail. The good news is that if you still want to work with the old interface, you can, but I highly recommend working in the designer interface to quickly create the look you're going for. There is an array of new single system and multi-system presets here in the left hand side of the interface, but I started the fire trail effect with the default setup. I started with a spherical emitter and set the particle type to cloudlet and removed some of the default parent motion and velocity. I then added some wind in the x-axis to basically create a smoke trail. Then I used a custom color gradient based on particle age with a bit of randomness in the lifespan to give the smoke a warm color. Once the basic smoke trail was set up, I moved on to creating the fire. This is basically a duplicate of the smoke system, but with the particles set to an additive blend mode. And the color gradient was tweaked to start as a hot orange and then age to a deep red. The particle lifespan was shortened so that the fire particles die off relatively quickly. Then a third smoke system was added to create an in-between, a kind of hot warm orange smoke that transitions between the hot fire and the darker smoke. Then finally in particular, I added a turbulence field under the air settings to give all three systems some naturalistic motion. The final steps were to add a wiggle expression to the emitter position to create the dynamic movement. Some turbulent displacement, glow and pixel motion blur were added to give the particles a more organic look. All of these are standard After Effects plugins. So there you have it, you can see just how much easier it is to create complex multi-system particle setups inside Red Giant Trap Code Particular 3, setups that weren't possible in the previous versions of the plugin. And as mentioned, if you are wanting to buy Red Giant Trap Code Particular 3 for Adobe After Effects at a discounted price, then head over to AV3 Software. I'm Scott Newman from Independent VFX. Thanks for watching. Cheers.